tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat. Welcome back to parts and great job. Depo well done. Deposit the right up. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's sump. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you remove them. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food. <laughs> Welcome back to Parts and Service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To clear the infestation, apply the Fazbear Entertainment Restaurant Grade Chemi Spray to Chica's exterior. Press the button under the hanging canister to activate the Chemi Spray. Avoid inhaling the Chemi Spray. Exposure to cleaning, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Well done. Oh no, it looks like Chica needs another dose of the Chemi Spray. Do not let the infestation spread. Be sure to give the canister button another push as needed. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Place the cupcake on the plate. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Great job! Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice, delicious! See you next time!
We hope you're enjoying the Fazbear virtual experience. Please be aware that there may be visual artifacts left behind. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found while we're at it. Let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, Grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Freddy's got a good job. Now place the hat. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child. <laughs> Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully grab and remove the ch- Freddy's got good job. Now place the hat while well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged by carefully place the music box on the work table. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button. Now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no, you seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. A slow and even pace is recommended. A slow and even pace is recommended. Are you having fun yet? That's great to hear. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Freddy's good job. Now place the hat. Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it. Uh, 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 uh. 
Welcome back to Parts and Serve. Fr Good job. Now place the hat. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on. Now remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. We went to great lengths to create an authentic VR experience, including using scanned photographs for reference and using original performance routines where applicable. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an in Welcome to Vet Repair. Fazbear Entertainment prides itself on having the most comfortable facilities. Each facility is set to a perfect 72 degrees all the time.
The four active indicator lights mean we have a well-functioning ventilation system. Your headlamp should protect you from any critters who may have stumbled into the ducts. As a certified vent technician, you should need no instruction. However, in case of an emergency, it is important to remember that as the vent technician, you should never, under any circumstances, attempt to Hello? Can you hear me? Don't exit this room, okay? This isn't a mistake. This room isn't a mistake. I had to hide these logs away from the core gameplay files, in a place that only a beta tester would look, and in a place where the files could be protected. I just really, really hope that the next development team finds this before the game is released to the public. This game has some kind of malicious code in it, that we haven't been able to fully contain, or even understand for that matter. We're over budget and out of time. But that's not the reason that we're shutting down. Listen, I have to keep this short so the file size will be small enough to fly under the radar. There are Finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. 
so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I know? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children, and you need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you 